Now in the kitchen uh, compost and the chook food, which is a little bit more refined than the normal kitchen compost, when those two are ready to be full, we come down outside past the main prema lounge and meeting conference room here and we keep walking down this way and we see over here on our right this fence which has got the pool behind it and then if we pan around keep moving to our left we come across a, um, a big warehouse and then straight down in front of us is a nice little sort of bridge and we walk down there and I'll speed this up a bit now because I want to save my video power. And we walk up here with our compost, getting fitter as we do so. And as soon as we're past that little gate that I just stepped over, we can see the latest compost bins. I personally haven't been putting stuff up here for a while, but it all looks to be in order. I don't think we are supposed to leave our compost without a lid on it. It needs to have a lid on it, otherwise it attracts too many kind of pests and rats and bad smells. And we have some more compost here, looks like it's going a bit off. But generally it will go on just one of these three piles. And after it goes on one of these piles we will put some covering over it, maybe some sticks or something from over here, just a light covering of sticks to sort of hide the smell and appearance of it. And that's the sort of the compost side of things look, looked after. And then the chooks have a special bin in the main kitchen and it, they, they don't want onion and banana skins and garlic in the chook food but um, the chook food can pretty much come into this little chook pen here and just get um, chucked on the ground as far as I understand it. But I might have to get corrected on a few of these points. <laughs> 